In today's video, we will be covering Introduction to CPEG, CPEG to bring prosperity in large economies and social connectivity of the region and the world. Third, various perspectives of different countries and regions of the world on CPEG and their influence. Iran, Afghanistan, Central Asian Republics, India, UAE, USA, UK, Russia, Africa. In conclusion, CPEG is a thriving force for regional and world economies and how to secure CPEG against foreign obstructions and rigid policies of those opposing it. To begin with, CPEG is one of the six programs initiated under One Belt, One Road or OBOR initiative, also known as Belt and Road Initiative of China. CPEG being abbreviated for China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is a monumental agreement signed on 22 May 2013 between two brotherly states of Pakistan and its neighbor, China. Initially, its worth was $46 billion, later on increased to $62 billion as of 2017. It is the it is the agreement to build roads, pipelines, railways, ports, and other infrastructures to boost trade and transit and connectivity of different parts of Asia and further connect South Asia to different continents, Central Asia, such as uh, different continents, Central Asia, Russia, Middle East, via road or maritime links through Gwadar port, that is. The... Uh, it was uh, the Gwadar port was handed over to China for its construction in 2002 and which was completed in 2006. In addition to this, it credits the manufacturing of an 1100 kilometer long motorway from Karachi to Lahore, which will later be upgraded to link Pakistan's northern regions to Kashgar in south of China, which is worth $11 billion. Reconstruction of Karakoram Highway. In, uh, along with a 2.5 billion pipeline from Gwadar to Nawabsha, a solar and wind energy generation parks, uh, solar and wind energy generation parks, along, including one of the world's largest solar parks, which is Kaidi Azam Solar Park in Bahawalpur, Punjab. Under this agreement, $33 billion, $33 billion energy infrastructures will be built to cater the energy, uh, energy demands of 212 million people of Pakistan. It will also add 2 to 2.5 percent points to the total GDP of Pakistan. Furthermore, special economic zones, also abbreviated as SEZ, will be created mainly at Gwadar Port to promote investments, job creation and effective administration. It is foreseen that CPEC will create 2 to 3 million jobs from 2013 to 2030 itself. CPEC is CPEC's early harvest project provides Pakistan with one uh, 10,000 megawatts of energy between 2018 to 2020. However, it includes CPEC and non-CPEC actors and promulgation of CASA, that is in CASA 1000, that is Central Asia, South Asia 1000 Treaty. On many occasions, CPEC has been called Marshall Plain of China, positively comparing it to U.S. Marshall Plain for Western Europe post World War II. The following uh, uh, part of the video will be discussing socio-economic illustrations of CPEC on Pakistan, China region and the world. It is aptly said by bon uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, China is a sleeping giant. Once it wakes, it will move the world. Sim Similarly, China's Obor and CPEC has faced much criticism from its critics and has been at times target of its um, target of their traps. This move of China goes against their political, economic and geostrategic plan. However, these will be discussed at length later in the video. For this paragraph, we'll concentrate on CPEC's benefits that will preside over these negative socio-economic aspects of CPEC. Economically speaking, it is vividly seen that CPEC, after completion, will prosper the economies of countries indulging in it to make the best of it. CPEC will affect their gross, dom gross domestic product as it will provide a network of routes for trade and communication which would otherwise be costly and arduous. 
A country utilizing CPEG infrastructure will prosper by managing to get their goods export soar and reach Central Asia, Middle East, Eurasia, Afghanistan, Iran, China, etc. To add use of Pakistan, it is at loss of 3.55% of GDP due to its meager current transportation networks. China will also get profit alike by sending its goods to Iran and Afghanistan. Revenues will increase as transportation will be improved. It is expected to go up to $5 billion by 2020. Such amounts will make Pakistan grow economically. Just as over a century, grief-stricken country Afghanistan will start regenerating its stagnant economic conditions using the cost-efficient trade links. In addition to all this, special economic zones will give impetus to many regional and worldwide businesses, investments, and maritime links. For instance, Gwadar port and the motorway will aid China in receiving its oil barrels from Iran and Middle East less costly and timely, which it otherwise receives from the Strait of Malacca in the South China Sea. Now looking at the sp- social perspectives of CPEG, it is not possible to ignore the fact that CPEG will be creating millions of jobs that will be ray of hope for millions that are jobless. Since so long, this will alleviate poverty and raise the standards of living of people of those countries that will, that will accept CPEG positively. Along with this, social-cultural connectivity will be improved using these routes connecting around 60 to 70 countries under a single roof of one belt, one road in CPEG. This will enable people to uh, people to people contact and vary cultures to intermingle and remove hegemony of a particular culture. In the following part of the video, I will be discussing various perspectives of the region, uh, uh, various perspectives of the region and the world on CPEG. First of all, Iran. It is a cooperative country towards CPEG and sharing friendly bilateral relations with Pakistan. However, with support of India in 2016, it signed an agreement with India to build Port of Chabahar, 72 km from Port of Ghadar. For making Port Chabahar, India will be giving around $8 billion. This port, uh, this port, according to the secretive incentive of India, would bring competition to Port Gwadar, but Pakistan considers it will not give pure competition to Port Gwadar, and the, these ports will be working complementary to each other. Next is Afghanistan. It is a country rich in raw. It is a country that is rich in raw materials and minerals. However, it is unable to export these at la- aid labs in a sea route to facilitate movement in these materials. Hence, Port Gwadha will help Afghanistan to move its goods to Central Asia and further. Owing to this fact, Afghanistan supports CPEC. In fact, Islamabad has promised to build a 265-kilometer uh, long motorway from Peshawar to Kabul. Next is Central Asian Republic. Central Asian Republic through CPEC will get access to sea. Hence, hold an optimistic view to accomplishment of CPEG. Moreover, Pakistan and China hold greater interest in getting connectivity with Central Asian Republic to facilitate the export of goods. Next is India. It is an arch rival of Pakistan since independence in 1947, keeping in mind the dislikeness to, um, dislike, uh, dis- dislikeness towards Pakistan. It is clear that it doesn't think generously about CPEG and its implementation as it clearly goes against their political interest. As owing to the fact accomplishment of Belt and Road Initiative will create a shift and balance in the regional and world powers. For the same reason, it has coordinated with Iran to build Chabahar port and pushing Afghanistan to use Chabahar then uh, port Gawadar. It has also left its old friend Russia and joined hands with USA by signing LEMOA, BAKA, KOMKASA, that stands for L-E-M-O-A and B-E-C-A and C-O-M-C-A-S-A, it's a tra- treaties to share yeah, each other's military bases, operations, and joint training sessions to stronghold their base in Indian Ocean, which they fear would go under the hegemony, which would they go, uh, which the U.S. feared would be under the hegemony of China. Hence, India continuously is throwing daggers at Pakistan by making controversial statements such as CPEG is China's debt trap. Creating opposing views amongst Pakistanis, therefore trans- transparency should be created by Pakistani government at all times. 
Further, it has been clearly stated by Chinese, 80% of it is just joint ventures and 20% is only debt-based finance in CPEG. It is also fueling insurgency in Balochistan. India is fueling insurgency in Balochistan, which is a province crucial to CPEG and closest to Gwadar port. Next comes UAE. It is clearly against the implementation of CPEG as port Gwadar directly affects Dubai port, port business by 70%. It is also joining hands with India due to which its ties with Pakistan have started to severe. It was a clear cut when Pakistan had rejected to send its military fight military to fight Houthi rebels in Yemen along with UAE and Saudi Arab. You, uh, next is the USA. CPEC becomes a threat to United States of America's political, economic, and geostrategic interest in Asia as it loses its hegemony. For China, becomes a rising power in creating bipolar, uh, bipolar power hegemonies, reducing America's power to monopolize everything in the world. One media, um, on media, USA has praised CPEC as it creates a balance of power in the region against Russia. However, it has signed treaties with India to hold on to its power in East and in and in Indian Ocean against Chinese, although USA praises formation of Gaza port but criticizes Pakistan for giving its control to Chinese. Apart from this, President Barack Obama in 2016 launched Pivot Asia policy to aid Asian countries economically to develop their infrastructure infrastructure center to China's BRI and CPEG. Next is UK. It is the third largest investor in Pakistan after China and Netherlands and accounts for 8% of foreign direct investment to Pakistan. It has also um, overtaken China as Pakistan's second largest second largest export market after US. United Kingdom earnestly supports CPEG and through CPEG it will have access to Gulf waters and more trade. Russia, it is improving bilateral friendly relations with Pakistan even though CPEC has little direct effect on Russia from trade route. Apart from trade route, obviously, Russia is willing to join hands with Islamabad to reduce terrorism in Afghanistan to create security among its own borders. Russia has been friend of uh, India and its key supplier of weapons. Hence, China is eager to join Russia to CPEC as it is part of Shanghai Cooperation Organization as it will calm India down and it's creating an obstacle in the way of CPEC as some of its infrastructure through disputed territories, uh, some of the CPEC's infrastructures through the disputed territories of Pakistan and India. Uh, last but not the least, it is Africa. It has positively indicated using CPEC to export its goods to Central Asian republics. The Pak African trade will increase up to $8 billion in the next five years. It also Kenya Central Bank has agreed to allow Pakistani banks to open up their uh, branches in Kenya to facilitate exports and trade. In conclusion, we say that CPEC is transitioning world economies towards prosperity. It holds the key to further connect the world by providing much easier and faster trade and communications along with regional security and stability. It also it's China to reduce the United States influence on East and uh, East and Asia. Moreover, it brings new opportunities for those countries with stagnant and downhill economies to invest, invest, increase trade via road and maritime along with regional connectivity for increased socio-cultural communications. It has many rivals wishing to undo its power as it is against their political, economic and geostrategic interest. Now, to allow CPEC to break through these obstructions and appear stronger more than ever, China and Pakistan must create transparency to hold people's trust and hold more campaigns and do joint ventures to inform people and nations of profits it holds for them to make them readily accept and indulge in it. Thank you.